Europe, we are happy to announce that we have successfully completed yet another translocation process where we have introduced two massive bulls to the Samara Private Game Reserve, which consists of 13,000 hectares, as you can see behind me, perfect elephant habitat in the Greater Karoo. The capture process was a flawless process, one of the smoothest we've had to date. We're very thankful for that because obviously at the end of the day the elephants are our key concern and their well-being is our core focus throughout this process. We had a very professional team assisting us, Conservation Solutions, Kester Vicker and his entire squad. Obviously ERP being a, in the forefront of elephant translocations in Southern Africa had a core team on the operation as well. So the capture process really starts with the helicopter pilot and the vet going out to search for the elephants. We were fortunate that Kakle had been collared previously, so it was quite easy to find him. And we knew that we were going to load a younger bull. We didn't really have a specific individual identified beforehand, but we were fortunate enough to find a bulla off the bat and we were able to dart him fairly quickly. And we were quite fortunate because he is an absolutely stunning animal. Once the animal is down, the helicopter pilot communicates with us as the ground crew and we access the elephant on the quickest route possible, being a road or either going through the bush. Once we get there, we ensure that the elephant is stable. Unfortunately, Ambula fell at an awkward angle in the road, which could have had an impact on his breathing. We were able to recover him fairly quickly. So the process from when the elephant is down is stabilizing him, making sure that he is breathing effectively, monitoring his heart rate and bringing in the flatbed trucks with a crane. We then use cargo straps around the elephant's legs, one strap per leg, and we bring in the, the crane to actually lift the elephant by its legs. It does not look good, and a lot of people get concerned when they see it, but it is the most effective way to load elephants. It is a trial and tested manner. The capture team has done over 1,600 elephants in this manner, loaded successfully. Elephants were eradicated from the Eastern Cape in the Great Karoo area about 120, 200 years ago when, when there was an influx of European hunters and they had guns and they were shooting out the whole population. So since then there's been no elephants, there's been no elephant impact on the vegetation, it was mostly farmland. A herd of elephants were introduced to Samara last year and since then we've been monitoring them to see how they're setting in, monitor their behaviour. At the same time as monitoring them we've had two interns with us graduates from the Tracker Academy. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens now that the bulls have arrived, see if the female herd change their behavior in any way or utilize different areas, whether they follow the bulls or whether the bulls come and join them up on the mountain slopes. The two bulls is going to complete the elephant society here. It's also going to be just a small part of, of the bigger plan that ERP has to re-establish elephants in the, in the Great Karoo, bringing the elephants back to their formal range and re-establish the, the ecosystem that was once here. Our big vision is to drive corridors. We want to take Samara and expand our boundaries and really get our neighbors or, or other parties involved in hopefully, so, you know, there's no more fences. Elephants can one day roam over vast distances here, over these Snewberg Mountains, in these, all of these valleys where they naturally occurred many, many, many years ago. Our priority is conservation and then how we can get those corridors and that conservation landscapes to form, we then start building on that. And the elephants is just one piece of the puzzle because elephants need space and, and it, it will force us to one day get into negotiations with neighboring properties, with farmers, with NGOs, in order to one day create that bigger corridor. Mvula weighed in at about 5.7 tons and Kakhle weighed in at a whopping 6.3 tons. And we load him sideways on his, on his side and strap him down with straps to make sure that he does not move too much during the translocation process from where we capture them or dart them to the loading trucks. We have to cut roads open if the elephants fall in an area which is inaccessible. So it's quite a long process and we get to eventually the wake up box which is pre-assembled the day before, two days before the capture. It's a massive box. The elephant is pulled in with a, with a conveyor belt uh, using a truck. So the elephant slides into the, the wake-up box. We then close both doors of the wake-up box and wake the animal up. Sometimes it does take some time for the animal to get up and we need to crane the elephant. So we put a sling around its tusk just to give him a bit more leverage to get up. In Nimvula's case, he, he got up quite easily, whereas Kakhle took a bit longer and we needed to put a strap around his tusk to actually hoist him up. From there, the elephant is awake and we open the, the, the wake-up box and the elephants walk into their compartments with the transport truck. A long-term tranquilizer is given to elephants to ensure that they are relaxed over the entire translocation process and also when they get to the reserve that they are fairly calm so that we don't have any incidences when they arrive 
And there is a short-term activating drug, which is known as Stresnel, which we give to the elephants every three to four hours en route to the new destination. The elephants left at half past nine on Saturday morning, the 17th of November, on a 23 and a half hour journey to Samara. EOP provided the supporting vehicles to ensure that if there were any breakdowns, we could provide assistance to the truck drivers and also to get the meals on route to ensure that the elephants did not have to stop for long periods of time. The elephants generally were very relaxed. They were sleeping most of the way, which is fairly positive for us. We had certain elephants which weren't so relaxed and uh, we must say that these two bulls were very relaxed in the translocation process. From a conservation point of view, to have two iconic bulls or species, a species like that to return with the females that they reintroduced last year really is going to add value to the social structure within our, our, our herd now. Breeding will be able to start taking place, so we'll have youngsters, so that whole social structure within that elephant group will just create a different dynamic. For us also from a tourism point of view, it will really bring more guests uh, out uh, to the plains of Camdebu because they do create quite an excitement and let's be honest about it. What will happen then is the more tourists that we will then get it will it will create funding to, to preserve bigger landscapes so that the bigger herds of elephants can thrive in this area and then also hopefully down the line will also create uh, more job opportunities for us and maybe creating a, a one or two extra lodges for us at Samara. Derek and his entire team have just been so helpful for us. Without them we wouldn't have never been able to get our females last year in October and now these two massive bulls and we're very very grateful for what ERP has done and I think we've built an amazing relationship. We just want to say to them how grateful we are for what they have done and are doing for us.